Hey guys, welcome to MechWarrior Online. Uh, I've been promising myself I would make a video at least to show you guys what this is. I don't know if I'll make multiple episodes, but this is running on the Crisis uh, Engine and it's an online MechWarrior game. So you've seen me do a lot of like Hawken videos, and this one in particular is a game of... Um, okay, good sounds work. This is more of a game of strategy and, and being... it's more slower. But uh, I'll introduce it to you and uh, as I play, hopefully we won't get rolled too hard. Uh, that's always my hope whenever I play this. Because uh, you can have some pretty imbalanced games. So the type of mech I'm using is actually a catapult. Uh, the Founder's Catapult actually I have. And I've adapted it actually to have dual PPCs and um, SRM6 for close range. Because PPCs happen to have a 90 meter range. Uh, 90 meter minimum range. So. Um, I kind of play a bit of a sniper, uh, kind of mech and- Oh shit! Okay, I'm getting fucked. Alright, time to go over here. So, this is a very, um, strategical mech warrior game. Like, you saw me play Hawken, and Hawken was a bit of a... Um, Hawken was a bit slower than this. This was- this one's very, uh, this one's very kind of, uh, my mech in particular. Uh oh get out of the way of these missiles. Okay, it's not good. Ah, oh, damn it. This is more of a slower, more, like, you gotta strategize. You can't just be, uh, be somebody who just, like, comes out in the open. So right now I'm kind of hanging out with my teammates here. Unfortunately, I keep getting hit every time. Some guy, some guy keeps locking on with his missiles, and he's, he's actually not too good, because he's, uh, he's hitting the, the other side here. So I have these SRMs basically for when someone comes close to me, and I keep getting hit in my center torso, so I'm gonna actually back off slightly here, because I want some of my other teammates to take a bit of a bit of the damage. Yeah, let's take out this guy. And you can kind of see their health in the upper corner. Now, this is a free-to-play game, so you can play this, like, right now if you want to. You can just give it a download, give it a try. You get a couple of trial mechs to try. This is uh, the only mech I actually own that's actually worth a damn. I'm not sure what this guy's doing, but I'll just keep hitting him. And uh, so the way it works is you have the heavies, the lights, and the mediums, and pretty much if you've played a MechWarrior game, which I highly recommend you try, um, you can actually play. This is this is only this only has the option against other players though, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but. You, you do get the uh, opportunity to try all kinds of mechs with the trial mechs and things like that. So the lights kind of act a bit more... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to go and fight this guy at close range. It's, it's hard to explain. It's like a game... It's a universe you really have to get into. And uh, so I'm a, I'm a heavier mech, so I get to... Ooh. I got him, though. It's okay. And it's really, it's it's actually really quite fun. It's it's something that you really have to kind of get into to kind of understand what 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 it's what's about. And there's a lot of videos out there you can see, but I'm just going to try and introduce it basically. So, um, in this game, the the lights are actually far more useful than you would actually think. Uh, this is like the first mech game where I've actually I've actually thought to myself like, oh my god, the lights are freaky, like freaky scary now. And so it's this is an atlas, so we're going to take him out. Um, it's, there's a lot of video content for me to cover, honestly, with this game. Oh. I'm gonna have to help out with that. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to go behind this. I'm already taking so much damage in my center torso. My own damage shows up in the bottom left. And so th this game in particular, um... Fucking hell. Oh, their base is being captured. Okay, we're winning. So we're winning this. Oh shit! I, I know I haven't been talking about this much, but this is this is I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I am I am a long range mech. And uh, and yeah, so the lights the lights are very fast and meant to kind of like have just a couple weapons, you know, scout ahead, do that kind of do all that kind of stuff. And um, 
So my, my mech in particular is meant to kind of just PPC the shit out of every like things at long range. And if they come close, I'll uh, SRM them basically, which is kind of cool. Um, and so this match went really fast, and I didn't get to talk a whole lot about it. So um, <laughs> I guess I'll show you the next one. Wow, I enemy base is being that was captured. a that was a good match to show you guys. Uh, I'm very surprised. Okay, let me join another one, and we'll continue. All right, so we're we're back on a slightly different map um, and so continuing where I left off so this is a very much a team game right now so the only game mode that exists right now is this capture point one so you can see my capture point on the radar it's the star and actually there as you can see on my top HUD there and it's the red star that's kind of like uh, yeah near my torso positioning thing so uh, the one thing about uh, it's it's not exactly a new player friendly game I will admit uh, it's something you do have to get into a little bit but it's a lot of fun once you do uh, because it's um it, it's a beautiful beautiful looking game first of all um, and but like uh, it's it's very difficult to actually maneuver these D despite the fact you were slow mechs are very hard to maneuver positioning is everything it's it's so tactical this game it's it's just insane um, but um, if you're wondering about the free-to-play model and if you're worried about it being pay to win do not even worry Because it's actually fairly good like you you actually start off with a like four mech options So you won't you won't kind of screw yourself by choosing a mech That's bad or something you get to try out the lights the mediums the heavies and the assaults And so this is as I said, this is a heavy mech. So it's kind of like a, a, Usually the specialization kind of mechs. That's what I am for. I'm not necessarily for taking a lot of damage but I can equip things like the double PPCs, uh, which I find I find to be a hell of a lot of fun to play with. Um, as I said, if you're familiar with mech games, you won't have any trouble controlling it. If you're not, you may. And this is why uh, giving a download to Mech Warrior, uh, uh, if you look for Mech Warrior 4 Mercs, that is free online, like actual single player free. There is no single player for this, and there is no like trial mode, like as in like. Uh, Target acquired. Whoops. All right, let's get this guy. Oh no! So my my whole plan, my whole strategy is just to kind of stick behind my team. Target. I missed both these shots. That was horrible. You, there is friendly fire, so be very cautious when you're shooting at other people, uh, especially with with someone like me who's like dual PPCing like on the other side of the damn map. You don't want to be that guy. And so this is a really nice team actually we have going here. We're working as a team. Um, I'm just sticking to the back, and I'm I'm just getting pot shots out on people because uh, this is this is a shit ton of damage I do with the PPCs. They're actually quite nice, and there's no ammo limitations. If you're wondering why I'm not an LRM uh, uh, catapult, which is what you would think that I would be, seeing as I'm a catapult, um, I tried it, and I didn't find it to be very appealing to my playstyle at all. Um, like it just. It, the, the PPCs weren't good. They were more about um, kind of weakening armor. New target acquired. And I, they were just not good. Oh, here we go. Here's a guy. I have a lot of range on these, but it's very difficult target to see things. Acquired. And I have a lot of. I have a really good heat management too. But I have to aim much better than than what I'm doing right now. Uh oh. Okay, someone's someone's finally decided they have, have had enough of my shit. There we go, good hit on him. Base is being captured. It looks like that guy's gonna be able to handle him though. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start heading back just in case, because they may go for a fast cap. There's a lot of guys heading in that direction. New target. Acquired. That is completely a valid strategy. Base is being captured. All right. Oh look at that! I'm getting some nice hits off. Unfortunately, I might get fucked right here. Is being captured. I know I have the Artemis on my, my mech right now. Oh, no, 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 heat. Oh, dear God. You have to watch the heat management because you overheat right away, and this could be the difference between winning and losing, which I just lost. Uh, so we're going to watch someone else, and I'll explain more about this game. But it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun. So this guy's in a hunchback. Let's see who else we got. Uh, the Centurion... Oh, here's an Atlas. So this is like a heavier assault mech, and so it's. Uh, as I said, you can you can play with your friends. You can join up, 
and it's just a very strategical, slower-paced game. And the free-to-play model is absolutely fantastic. It's it's fine because you don't have to worry uh, too much about not having enough. You get enough C bills. The C bills are the in-game currency, and you buy uh, mech points or something. And you get enough sea bills after every match to actually make it matter that you can equip some new weapons. And the only reason you may want to ha actually... I don't think you can actually buy things with money. You actually have to play to, to, to buy the things you want. But it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, uh, except for things like fine-tuning like engines and, and things like that. So this team had a very solid strategy. They kind of just rushed our... Uh, um, they rushed our base there, and uh, unfortunately, we were all kind of caught off guard. And then they they cornered us, they, like one by one. And then they this is how they won the game. So it's unfortunate, but we lost this. So well, uh, here's a map you guys haven't seen yet on snow. Hooray! Anyways, um, so continuing off, um, so the light mechs in this are actually very freaky because they can go very fast and they can have all kinds of armaments, but. Um, they're generally used for scouting because you get points for for scouting out people, and it like makes things like LRMs easier to lock onto. So we are on a snowy map right now, and so I can put on thermal vision. Great. Um, by the way, the voice you've been hearing for um, all the things like uh, like critical damage and whatever is uh, is actually the MechWarrior Two vo uh, actor actress who did that. So, it's the same actor. You know the infamous Reactor Online, Sensors Online? It's it's crazy. Anyway, so now we're playing on a very snow map. Uh, low visibility, so uh, this is going to be very interesting to see uh, how, how well we fare. I'm going to follow these uh, lighter mechs just because uh, when they see trouble, then uh, I'll be in a position to kind of help out. I don't even know what I just bumped into. Oh, I think these are rocks or some shit. Okay. Uh, but light mechs can be really freaky because there's like jenners that people make that are really fast, can circle strafe you, and uh, they have like a bunch of lasers on them to, to like destroy your back armor and just destroy you. Like people can be really, really good in those light mechs. They are so deceiving. I I am, I actually worry less when I see like an atlas than I do when I see like a friggin' um... Uh... Oh. Well, there's a lot of guys here. Um, so I do have jetpacks, by the way, so... See, I can kind of go up. Jetpacks, very nice thing to have. Just It's just one jetpack, actually. I shouldn't even use the uh, plural of it. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, he got killed. Uh, poor guy. And, um... I wonder if uh, we're, anyone's going to try and back up them, but it looks like, looks like we got right into the fray there. Oh, I see you. Unfortunately, both these guys are kind of getting me. I'm going to have to run back to my team. Uh oh. I, I want to help this guy out. Because at least we can double team somebody. Uh, although there's people behind me, I I'll get slightly concerned if I see... Looks like I this guy has two AC-20s. I'm going to circle straight for Okay. I have a heat warning, so i got to be very careful. Oh no, come on, come on. i got to get up here. Someone, Someone's hitting me really hard right now. Oh boy. Oh! That was a good way to showcase how awkward the combat can kind of be, because I was kind of like on top of him or something. I don't even know what the hell happened there. Um, I kind of lost where I was, and also being in front of that guy, I should have I should have known he had two AC twenties because catapults always very deceiving because they can have any kind of armaments on them that they're usually for long range. So you th you think to yourself you should come close, but it's the people who equip that stuff that uh, that destroys you at close range that. I, I need to stay away from oh well as you can tell I'm not the best at this game but it's still it's still it's really entertaining and it's honestly you guys should really give it a shot um, so every every class kind of has their role it's kind of interesting so uh, they have variations of the maps you have seen this map already however this one is on a snowy map so it's a snow environment 
not low visibility, so we can see everything perfectly fine. Uh, but this is, as I said, it's a uh, very teamwork-oriented strategy game. It's very much... Um, you do have to stick with your team, and it's it becomes very difficult, actually, when you do not... Uh, when you get these uncoordinated teams that aren't sticking together or just kind of doing their own thing. And you get a team that's actually on, like, voice comms or something, right? Uh, I, I saw someone there. I, I think I shouldn't have... Oh, cool. Someone there. You can see sparks whenever I hit someone. See, that was, um, it's the sparks actually. Oh, here we go. Acquired. So here's a hunchback. So I'm still playing my kind of my sniper mech-ish kind of thing, and everyone's kind of being very cautious here. So these people kind of understand how to play, and it's just not to expose yourself too much out in the open. Uh, and you want to spend very little time, actually. Uh, so these actually guys might actually be uh, in a group together, so they, they know what they're doing. And they're, they're st sticking together, because that's... You, you get random teams like that. Target acquired. So I, I highly recommend bringing a friend into this uh, and give it, you give it a try. It's actually it's a lot of fun. Nope. Did not hit. Acquired. Oh. Be careful of uh, whoever this guy is. Okay, I think we just need to go... Okay, I think this is just going to be a case where we just all go back at them. So I'm going to go run to the, the base here and help out that... New target acquired. No, buddy, I, I have PPCs too. Enemy base is being captured. Moving is very important in this game. Incoming missile. And since I'm behind this, missiles will not hit me. All right, I'm gonna go take out, gonna get this enemy base. Wow. <laughs> we're just gonna back cap here, so we're not even gonna have any problems with this. I'm gonna just keep running away from this guy. And once I'm over here, we'll be able to get this, so I'll be able to help out with this uh, base capturing, which is why I ran all, all the way over here. It's a bit of a cheap strategy, not gonna lie. Uh, but, you know, it works. Is being captured. Oh, 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 will we get this? Oh, wow, he just, I, dude, I made that all the difference there. That was ridiculous. Because <laughs> once I got him there, it capped even faster. So he was almost on that. Base He's going to stop that. Being captured. That was, that was cool. I, I am most, the most unluckiest person ever. Because every time I get into a more unique map, uh, there's something dumb that happens, like we get back capped, or the entire team goes in one direction, and the other team goes in the other, and there's actually no combat. <laughs> it's just capping, and like I don't want to show you guys that. Um, you know, I, I want to show you guys at least a little bit of combat. You know, I, I kept one match in, but th that was like the best one of this of this sort. Uh, and this doesn't no this normally doesn't actually happen. It's just uh, been this game. You know, it's it's making me wonder to myself that I should actually probably find some regular people to to go online with this with. Oh, uh, well. Anyways, uh, so we're back for some more. Um, and, yeah, it's, it is it is a free-to-play game, so you can try it anytime you want. I've mentioned that several times. Uh, if you're wondering why I have the Artemis on my SRMs, it's because I did try an LRM boat and it just wasn't good. Uh, I mentioned that before, so that, that is why I have SRMs with Artemis. I'm debating removing it. I'm still trying out to see, because it, it did cost me, like... 500,000 sea bills or some shit or 1 million or I don't know how much fuck many, many money monies it cost but it was expensive as hell and I thought it would improve the LRMs and it didn't the, the LRMs just suck the PPC is so much better so you get it's like unlimited ammo the only thing good about the LRMs is I can I can camp behind a hill but I don't want an LRM camp I really don't I, can, I like it much more like this so if I remove the Artemis I maybe can get some more armor and get some more survivability I don't really know if I should be hanging out with this guy I guess I will. There's a guy. Bam! You go behind that hill. I hit someone. Aha! There you go. That makes that's that makes it fun. 
I love getting these hits off. Oh, look, it's now snowing a little bit. Alright, so we got... I think there's an enemy mech down there. Uh, my entire team is over there, but we can we can at least uh, pick out people, kind of. And I saw someone over there. There's not a whole lot of zoom with this mech. There's three of us over here, so I'm going to try and stick with this like little lance that we have here. And we're, we're going to just uh, continue Target forward. Acquired. Here we go. I think my range on the PPCs is like 1,000 meters or some, some crap. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, we didn't lose him, though. Oh, there we go. I hit somebody. It's like sniping ass. Alright. Oh, wow. I think, I think our entire team just ambushed that guy. Did I hit one of my own guys? I don't know if I did. <laughs> I'd be kind of upset if I did, because I, I, I put a lot of effort into not... Not doing friendly fire. Wow, we are we are we are rocking this. You know, when you have like multiple people taking out one mech, um, that's always that's always a good feeling because it's just like that guy doesn't stand a chance, and that's one less person on the other team. So this is why I like to be kind of a support mech. You know, I'm gonna let this Atlas take be the brunt of brunt of the damage. Man, don't go in front of him. Don't do that. This poor guy. Look at this. Oh, okay, I'm getting a bit of a heat warning. There we go. Oh, we, he's he's exposing our his backplate to us. Oh, I had to shut down. Override. Shut down. It's okay now. Don't worry about it. It's an awesome here and an. The awesome is you have to be careful for. So remember, you can't see. He's got he's got a lot of ER PPCs, so uh, he can he can he can out he can outgun me basically right now. But our entire team is on him. Oh my god, we destroyed this, and I had nothing to do with that. So that was that was fun. That was great. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little uh, look at this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you actually want to see me do more of MechWarrior Online, because I can do some light mechs and some medium mechs and stuff. There's some trial mechs that I could show you and display and things like that, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, uh, I, th I, I'm really into it. I really like it, so uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.